Good morning. Say good morning. No. <laughs> All right, so good morning, everybody. Today is the first of three low carb days back to back. So weighing in at 78.8 kilograms this morning on my scale at home. My coach's scale puts me a kilo heavier, so I sort of just ballpark it in the center. So probably around 79 kilos. Feeling a little dry again this morning, not too depleted. I feel really good. The only thing I have today is just a bit of wrist pain from benching, but I don't know, it's really normal. And one thing I'm starting to realize as well, is I'm starting to feel colder. I guess it's something to do with body fat levels, but here in Australia right now, we're sort of phasing into winter over the next month and a half or two months, and I'm just starting to feel cold. People are looking at me thinking, are you, are you serious? Like it's still quite warm, but I'm starting to feel the cold. So I'll give you guys a little physique update in the mirror to show you where I'm at at the moment. But today I'm about two weeks and five days out, so let's see. All right, so I'll show you guys in the mirror first. Get all the natty lighting going. So as you guys know, I'm not huge on pre-workouts and intra workouts and stuff like that. But as of recent, I've been using BPM Labs Annihilate. It's just a standard fat burner, thermogenic. It's got like a lot of caffeine in it. And I'm starting to rely on these products more and more now being into prep and being, you know, really low carb some days where the energy is just, you know, at its lowest. These supplements do help. Also recently picked up, which the camera is sitting on is Alpha Amino by Celicor. So it's just a standard amino acid. Just trying to really do whatever I can to try and hold on to the muscle I have and just get some better recovery. That's things that I'm really looking for. Not supplements to sort of help me train, but like more just to, you know, give me a little bit of energy here and there and, you know, help me with repair. But there's one supplement that I'm waiting on, which is about to arrive, which I'm really excited about. It's Bear Performance Nutrition's Flight. Now, I'm sure you guys know Bear Performance Nutrition, Nick Bear. I can't wait to, to receive this flight. You know, he's posting up snaps on his Snapchat saying that his eyes are, you know, wide open from it. So I'm really excited to, you know, get a buzz again from a really good product. I've seen the reviews, they're really positive. So, you know, I'm really excited to receive that. So once I do get that, I'll let you guys know how it is. Because I'm in Australia at the moment, well, this is where I live and he's in the States, it takes a while for it to come over. So I'm just waiting for it, and hopefully, you know, it gives me that energy I need. But on top of all that, I need to go get cardio done, and I need to come back and get a meal in. So let's get the day going. It's time for me to go do some cardio. Okay, so with cardio out of the way, and meal one, I've already Taking in my steak, peanut butter and broccoli. I got today's fish cooking on the stove and I just need to clean up my mess over there. But I cooked a, f a meal for tomorrow for work. I just want to get in advance, just get food ready. I'm off today, which is awesome. I was thinking with this channel, just to, because I will be moving to London shortly, I'm thinking about using it also for like vlogging, I guess like an Aussie in London type experience type of thing. So to like blend it in with my fitness lifestyle, you know, show you guys some of the awesome food London has to offer. Because what I can see, the food varieties compared to Australia are just ridiculously different. Like we're very limited, I find in Australia being so far away from, you know, all the good stuff overseas. 
I mean, I see a lot of, you know, food challenges and food choices you guys have, you know, overseas and it's just, I'm jealous. <laughs> but going over there, I find that it's going to be an awesome experience trying different cuisine out and just seeing, you know, the variety you guys have to offer. So I'm pretty excited to hopefully get in some eating challenges. Like I said, I don't want to, you know, go packing on tons of weight overseas. Well, I mean, I do want to put on some weight because the face being this skinny is just ridiculous. <laughs> I needed to pick up some track pants, sort of like longer pants for the gym because it is starting to get a little bit cooler here. And I just prefer wearing longer pants in the gym just keeps me warmer because the gym I train at they love to crank the air conditioning like really high but I wanted to vlog this little bit here reason being is because that baby right there my <laughs> my pride and joy I'm actually selling her so I've had her for about three years but I'm selling her and I thought you know what I'll get her in a vlog because there'll be a time where I'll look back and I'll be like I wish <laughs> I took some video to remember it's been an amazing car honestly like you guys remember when I first started vlogging this is the car I had when I first started vlogging but yeah I thought I'll just you know get her in the, the vlog <laughs> for the final moments but yeah she's been an amazing an amazing car to drive my Mazda 6 MPS <laughs> but yeah today's such an beautiful day and this is the reason why <laughs> I'm gonna miss Australia because of this London doesn't have this <laughs> I don't care what you guys in the UK think you guys don't get these beautiful 30 degree days where you know 30 degrees to us I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit but it, this is like a beautiful warm day it's just yeah <laughs> it's beautiful to just walk around and like I said previously I just want to do more vlogging just to give you guys you know a little bit about my life you know take you guys with me show you how I live and you know my move to London I've got so much to do before I, I move over there just with packing my stuff up out of my room and getting everything together and getting on that plane it's gonna be just an amazing journey but I thought I might <laughs> one last time show you guys <laughs> before she goes because yeah she's off for sale and she's hot commodity at the moment so <laughs> yeah all right guys i'm going to hit chest today it's probably it's my second chest session for the week i'm going to hit it again because i have a friend that's coming interstate wants to train chest as you do with your bros so we're going to train chest and i need to get my arm session in. so it's going to be about big, a bit of chest and arms i'll see where i can record but i'm sure i'll take you through it so Let's do this.
So like I said to you guys earlier, there's so many reasons why I'm moving to London and this is one of them. Only in Australia would you step out of your backyard and see this. <laughs> just waiting waiting to injure somebody so welcome to Australia <laughs> another package I ordered these shoes last night and they're already here and it's like 3 p.m. the following day so check these out guys these are called the Nike rejuvenates I don't know how old they are or if they're you know fairly old or not but check them out pretty nice they've got the black tick there but yeah, they definitely feel really good. Like they're very, very comfortable shoes. Cause I need new shoes, like just for walking in general. I wanted to take a nice pair with me overseas as well. So I just needed a newer pair and I picked up these for like 75 bucks delivered, which is pretty good. I think they're normally like 140. I've got these older pair of Nikes, but my brother wears them to play indoor soccer and has absolutely destroyed them. So we share them basically, like I use them to do cardio and he uses them for soccer but the underneath is sort of worn. So I needed a new pair and these are on fleek. So yeah, these are really good. The lighting is not the best right now, but yeah, getting a package the next day, you know, is really good. So I'm happy I can, you know, start using these for cardio, but damn, they feel so good. I'm so happy. All right, so I just wanted to say, I ended up training chest again today. So I just benched, that's all I did. Cause I benched a few days ago as well. Still managed to get up 120 kilos, which I'm pretty happy about. But you know, I'm I'm starting to feel my endurance slowly, you know, coming down more and more as I get deep into this cut. But you know, I feel I feel you know really good. I still feel functional. I don't feel you know as depleted just yet. I think it will eventually hit as time goes on. You know, possibly another week, which will put me at about a week and a half out. So we'll see how things progress, but it's time for me to get a meal in because I'm hungry. Adding full chilies to my food. Gonna feel the burn. <laughs> mm. All right, so I've got my 120 grams of cooked chicken here, 100 grams of broccoli, and 150 grams post-workout of pineapple. So. I need to see my coach this afternoon for a posing physique update. Make any modifications to my diet. That chili is burning. <laughs> so I need to make some changes. Um, see what he says tonight. I'll record the physique update. And that'll probably be in my next video for you guys. But yeah. Still got a few meals left for today. I'll see if I can take you guys with me to see my coach. See what he says a bit later. But I'm liking the small changes I see every you know it's every day every second day the thing is it's not like a great change I see you know on like the size or the definition of the muscle but it's more just vascularity now um, seeing a lot more veins especially like up here and in my lats so I can see more vascularity coming through even through my obliques and my lower abs so they, these are like really exciting things because I've never had that much vascularity. Uh, vascularity. I'm not a really veiny person, but it's all it's always <laughs> awesome seeing you know different changes. So that, like I said, the lower your body fat goes when it's already quite low, the greater the changes. So yeah, it's really it's really really exciting, and I just you know I can't wait to see how the next you know two and a half weeks goes. But let's bring it on. <laughs> 